Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. It's been a long time since I've posted anything on my blog. Sorry about that. I've been busy with personal things and also my full-time job is keeping me busy. Today I'll show you a simple technique on how not to suppress rows in pivot table while making selections. Let's quickly look at the script. Created a simple OLEDB connection and I'm loading the data from SQL Server database. So I'll say reload. This takes probably five to 10 seconds to finish. There we go. Let's try and create a pivot table first. Right click new sheet object and click on chart. And then let's select pivot table, click on next. And I'll select the dimension as education and occupation as my secondary dimension and click on next. We can use the expression as count of customer key, which is a unique field. And let's click on OK. Now, if I expand all, I'll see the education as my primary dimension and occupation as secondary dimension. Here, we're seeing the count of the customers. And let's say that now you wanted to select everyone who belongs to management and click on this. So what's happening here is it's actually suppressing the rows to management, which is fine. But in some cases, you don't want to suppress the rows. You wanted to see all the occupations, but you wanted to reduce the numbers in terms of expressions. What I mean by that is, let's say in some cases, you don't want to suppress the occupation. And once you select management, you still wanted to see everything in occupation. How would you do that? All you need to do that is you need to add a set expression. So click on properties and click on expressions and just say sum of one, which is everything. We are just adding a zero to the current total count. Although we are taking full set here, click on apply and click on okay. Now, one more step you need to do is let's click on properties, go back and say presentation, uncheck this option, surplus zero values. You can leave this checked and now click on okay. Now, if you click on management, if you see the management numbers are reducing, but you will still see zeros because you will see the full occupations. So this is a simple technique. You may need it or you may not need it, but if you need it, all you need to do is you need to add the set expression with one and you need to uncheck the options of surplus zeros from the chart properties. I hope this makes sense and hopefully you can use this technique in your application. Feel free to leave a comment or ask a question. Also, I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day where I ask ClickView questions and you can answer them to gauge your knowledge. It's fun and it's instant. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Cheers.